Today we're going to be first looking at the midpoint. The midpoint of a line segment, as we all remember, is the point that cuts it perfectly in half. It's exactly in the middle. Um, so we're going to find the midpoint in the coordinate plane. And so if you remember the coordinate plane, we have point A here, and that is at, we go over 3, up 2, so that would be at 3, comma 2. And point B is over 5, up 6, so that is at 5, comma 6. And I want to know at what point on the coordinate plane will I be exactly between them, exactly between the two points the middle. Uh, so if you look at it, what we're basically going to do is just figure out half the distance across and then go half the distance up. Uh, and so really you could do that and see that we're going a total of four units up. So I can just cut that in half and go up two. And we're going a total of two units across. So I can just cut that in half and go over one. And if I kind of line these crosshairs up, I'll end up at the midpoint right here on the line. However, I don't want to do that every time. I don't want to have to draw this out and, and do that. There's got to be an easier way, right? So what we're going to look at is what's called the midpoint formula. And essentially it's going to do what we just did in the picture. The midpoint formula tells us to basically just take the average of the x's and then take the average of the y. And when you do that, you'll land in the middle for both of them. Essentially, the midpoint formula is this. You take the x's and add them together and divide by 2. Then take the y's, add them together, and divide by 2. So in this problem, our x's, our first x is 3, and our second x is 5. So we're going to add those together. The midpoint here is equal to 5 plus 3 divided by 2, comma. And then our y's, we're going to add together and do the same thing. Here's our first y. Here's our second y. It actually doesn't matter what you call the first y or the second y, as long as you keep it same for the x's. So we have 2 plus 6, oops, divided by 2. And so when you add these together, you're going to get 8 over 2, comma, 8 over 2. And when you simplify that, you get 4, comma, 4, which is actually what we got the first time when we practiced it, uh, just drawing it out. So if I now go plot 4, comma, 4, I go over 4, up 4, I'm going to be right there at that midpoint that we were talking about. So this midpoint is 4, comma, 4. This midpoint formula right here, I would write down, I would memorize, I would know this thing right here. This is super important. Lastly, your answer for a midpoint question should be in the form of an ordered pair, right? If I'm finding the midpoint, it should be something, comma, something. That's how we label points on the coordinate plane. That's the midpoint.